Hi, I'm Dave Cross. In this quick video, I wanna show you the difference between fill opacity and opacity in Photoshop. So this is a fairly common question I get asked is looking in the layers panel, I see there's opacity and fill opacity and what's the difference? And part of the reason for the confusion for many people is depending on the setup of what's on your layers, there may not be any difference. Really the difference comes in when you have layer styles. So here's an example. I have just a regular old type layer, just with, filled with black, and if I lower the opacity, the whole layer becomes see-through as you would expect. But if I change the fill opacity down at the surface level, it looks like the same thing. In fact, it is because this is just a layer that only has pixel content. However, if I compare that with this other type layer, and you can see here on this type layer, I've added a bevel and emboss and a drop shadow. Let's put, make sure they're both up to 100%. If I first lower the opacity down, you see everything on that layer, including the layer styles and effects, become more see-through. However, if I take the fill opacity and lower it, what's happening is only the fill color is disappearing and any layer style stays there. So if we lower the fill all the way to zero, you can see this is an example, get this nice kind of glassy, see-through type look because the layer effect stays, but the fill color disappears. So if you're trying to create this kind of effect, it actually doesn't matter what your fill color is at all because it will disappear while the layer style stays. Once again, as you can see here, the difference is because of the layer styles. So there you go, the difference between opacity and fill opacity. I'm Dave Cross, please keep a lookout for my next quick tip tutorial on Photoshop.